Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 18, 21 to 35. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed ten owed ten thousand talents, but he had no means of paying. So his master gave orders that he should be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancel the debt. Now, as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him one hundred denarii, and he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant just as I had pity on you? And in his anger the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. Keeping count. Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? From this question posed by Peter, it seems that it is human nature to keep count of and measure our human experiences. Keeping count of how many times someone hurts us is, I suppose, a way of justifying our response or actions towards them. Jesus is, however, saying to us, that the count is not as important as the love and mercy we are required to extend. This is a radical departure from the eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth law previously taught. What would it mean for us to stop counting and always start back at one every time someone hurts us? using that as an opportunity to pay it forward for all the times God has forgiven us? This will call for real love, the kind we can only get from our Heavenly Father who is love. Now that's a count worth keeping. Lord, as I walk through the desert with you this Lent, Help me to learn to love as you do and leave the counting to you. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.